Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Um, today is September 17th. This is Charm Chatter, I don't know, 92 maybe. <laughs> I don't know, look at me, I'm a disheveled mess. And there's a reason for that. And that's what this video is about. Um, so it's been a very hectic week. We've had some family medical emergencies. Um, so there hasn't been any crocheting going on. Uh, it's been very long days, and Tuesday morning I got up to find that I had yarn barf all over my yarn room. So I'm going to flip this video just for a second. This is some of the yarn that was barfed off of my shelf. Flipping back. And I'm going to show you my yarn room. Are you ready? Look at this. Look at this. My shelf fell. This is the shelf that's usually in the background of my videos. And I had taken, just let me work my way through the mess. I had taken this kind of yarn, this really fat yarn. I made a poncho out of gray of this really fat yarn. That's Dreamweaver yarn. And it was in this very bottom cubby right here, shoved in very tightly. And I took some of it out on Monday night and Tuesday morning I got up and I came in here I tried to come in here and this cabinet had fallen over and was leaning against this chair this is the chair I usually sit in <laughs> you can't tell right now and it was leaning up against this basket which it pushed forward and all of the yarn all of this yarn all of this yarn, all of this yarn, all of this yarn, and a lot of that yarn, <laughs> and that box, and all the yarn in those boxes fell out and off. Oh, there's Lacey. What do you want, Miss Lacey? Anyway, it all fell off of this shelf. And because of the medical problems that we're having with my dad, I haven't been able to my I haven't been able to get in here. So my husband, I tried to pick the shelf up and straighten it back up, but it just kept unsnapping. See, it just like pops together. It just kept popping apart. So I left it. And my husband, because I was busy with dad, was very kind and boxed up and binned up and put into <laughs> three laundry baskets all of the yarn that he could and tonight I put that yarn there <laughs> and that's as far as I got I've been up since 2 and it is about 10 I've been up since 2 a.m. and it's about 10 o'clock now and I am just done <laughs> so um, I don't know when the yarn room is going to be back to normal because my schedule has gotten much more busy uh, but it won't be any time today. <laughs> there has been no crocheting going on. Uh, but we'll gradually get back to that. So anyway, I just wanted to, I'm going to turn you back around. I just wanted you to know that I still love you all. Thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing, and understanding <laughs> that sometimes life gets in the way of crochet. This week, a lot of life <laughs> has gotten in the way of my crochet. Uh, and now, and I went, the whole thing was, I came in here Tuesday morning because I needed to start a new project and I needed to get some yarn. I can't even find yarn, <laughs> the right yarn to get started on the project that I wanted to start on. So there you go. Um, let alone have time to work on it. So Anyway, um, this is just going to be a brief one. I did, by the way, get a knit crate, my final knit crate. It is in this box right here. Oh, wait, you can't see the box because now you're looking at me. 
let's open it real quick. Um, I'm going to turn, <laughs> see if we can figure this out. Hold on. Okay, so all that flipping is probably making you crazy. There are a pair of scissors in here in this drawer. I don't know what the knit crate is. I don't know if anybody has seen the knit. I have not even had a chance really to watch videos this week. I will try to catch up as soon as I can. But let's see what's in here. Didn't I already get this yarn from Knit Crate? Boy, that looks like a familiar color. Let's see. Oh, look at that stitch marker. Oh, wait, you can't see it. Hold on. It fell over. It's stuck in my yarn. Great. Oh, you can't see it again. Great. Anyway, it is stuck in the yarn. And here's the pamphlet. I like the stitch marker. Here's the book. The inspiration book. Um, I did put my knit crate on hold, but it sure looks like I already have this yarn. Look at that yarn right there. Very similar. That also is a knit crate yarn. It is different, but the color is very much the same. Very close. Uh, so that is the knit crate for September. Um, and the stitch marker is stuck in the yarn. That's not good. I'm going to need two hands to figure that out. So anyway, <laughs> it's quite the unboxing for Knit Crate today. I'm not going to go through the book with you. And that's, this will be, this is a, I put the order on suspension because, do you see this mess? <laughs> and my precious little dog. And my yarn mess, not to mention the two big huge bins in the other room. <sighs> oh, I did have one more thing to show you. I made this. It's not completely done. Um, the dress is made. And this is... Uh, oh, goodness. I can't remember the name of the yarn. I don't know where the ball band is right now. Um, but it's a bag of day pattern. It gets little uh, flowers have to get sewn on here, the satin flowers. I did not do the picots on the sleeves or the bottom, but this is Ari's dress. Um, this is that yarn I bought at Walmart. That's what it is. I didn't use the yarn that, uh, oh, this is Avery's dress for her, for her doll. Um. So anyway, it just needs buttons on the back, which I didn't, I don't have yet, and the little ribbons, and I think she's going to love it. So, okay, that's what I got for you. I will have to put out a video. Um, no, I did that already. The Harvest Moon video, please uh, check to see if you're the winner. And for all the Harvest Moon videos, goodness gracious. Okay, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, understanding, and all of that. Okay, bye.